Welcome back to Sunday Night in America. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp pulled off a landslide victory. His opponent, David Perdue, was once a United States senator and enjoyed the backing of former President Trump. How did Governor Kemp win, and how did he win in such an overwhelming fashion? And what does it all mean for November when he faces off against Stacey Abrams again? Joining us now is Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. Governor, thank you for joining us. Congratulations. And I guess folks want to know two things. How did you win, and how did you win so convincingly? Well, thanks for having me on, Congressman. Listen, uh, we were just focused on putting hard work in Georgians first. That's what I told them I'd do when I ran in 2018. I made two big promises. That was one of them, to put hard work in Georgians first, and the second one, and is that I told them that I would implement the things that I campaigned on in 2018. And we've done that from largest teacher pay raise in state history, largest state income tax cut in state history. We've been standing with our men and women in law enforcement and going after street gangs. And, you know, as you know, we got a robust economy in Georgia. We're the number one state in the country for business. So I just stayed focused on reminding people what my record was but also that that is the record that can beat Stacey Abrams in November. And that's what we all want. And that's what everybody's uniting around right now. You know, Governor, that's kind of the dominant theme. When I would check with my friends in Georgia, I said, how is he doing this? And they would say, because he did what he said he would do. I, I, I am sure it is not fun being the object of, uh, of any former president's ire, uh, in particular, probably former President Trump's ire. I, how were you able to navigate that? It, it, I, I really never heard you even address it. It was almost like you ignored it. Well, I was staying focused on Georgia. You know, there's a lot of outside noise in this race. Uh, I've told people all the time I was very appreciative of what President Trump and Vice President Pence both did to help our state many times, whether it's during COVID, other things that we worked on together. You know, we still have troops on the border. Um, you know, as you know, the policies of the Trump administration worked on the border and we were down there supporting them. We're still there supporting them and the policies are disastrous right now. But there's a lot of things that we worked on and always gave them credit for that. But also, look, I'm the governor of this state and that's what I got elected to do. And I just uh, did what I told folks I was going to do and I reminded them of that. And the other thing is I followed the law and the Constitution. You know, I took an oath to do that. My wife held that Bible. I put my hand on it raised my right hand and swore to do that. And that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. And I think that's what Georgians want. They so want somebody that's going to be focused on them. They do not want to go the way of Stacey Abrams. You know, Stacey Abrams is getting credit, credit for Joe Biden winning Georgia and being president. And you see what that's getting us. 40 year high inflation, skyrocketing gas prices, disaster at the border, uh, more rules, more regulations and more taxes. And that's what she would do to our state. And I don't think that's where Georgians want to go. And we've been fighting against that. We're going to continue to do that. You know, Governor, if memory serves me, you defeated her once. The national media sure does like her a lot. I'm not sure how many of them get to vote in Georgia, but they <laughs> sure do seem to like her. So how are you going to pull it off this November? Hey, look, the national media loves Stacey Abrams. She's the darling. That's why we need your listeners to join the fight with us and go to BrianKemp2022.com and help us out. I mean, this is a fight not only for the soul of our state, but for the soul of our country. I mean, listen, Stacey Abrams wants to be your president. Uh, but if we stop her from being governor, her road to the White House ends right here and right now this November. And so it's going to take everybody to be in this fight to beat her again. But look, the national media, as you know, Trey, is not always right. They were wrong on our voting bill, the strongest elections integrity act in the country. We had record turnout during the primary. Uh, everybody's got egg on their face, including Stacey Abrams on that. She hurt small business owners, many of them minority owned by pressure in Major League Baseball to pull the all-star game, but we never wavered because we knew that it's easy to vote and hard to cheat in Georgia. And she's hurt those business owners, and I'm the one that's been fighting for them, uh, fighting for them with tax relief, sending a billion dollars back to the taxpayers, suspending the gas tax, so people can fight through 40-year high Joe Biden inflation that Stacey Abrams helped put in the White House. That's what we're fighting against here, and we need everybody around the country to join us in that fight. Well, Governor, you certainly seem to navigate this this kind of eye the needle between election integrity, 
uh, but also admitting, look, Republicans can and sometimes do lose elections. I mean, those two things are not inconsistent to me. You, you can believe both, and you seem to have done a really good job and an overwhelming victory uh, in the primary of navigating that. So congratulations to you. I'd love to talk to you again between now and November. Sounds good. Let's do it. Have a great evening. God yeah. bless. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.